I have to take a right hand turn. Oh, freaking chicken. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do this fast and maybe I can catch them. Ready? Three, two, one. So we got all the products for today's video inside this box right here that I purchased online. No idea why it says fragile on the top. I mean, these are just products for your car. Usually driving around, things are going to shake and stuff like that. So, I don't know why. See, fragile for the... Oh my god, it actually came. Um... Alright, for those of you who saw the video of us buying this, um, yeah, it, it showed up. This was $300 for, um, the cheapest piece of plastic I have ever seen. And you guys haven't seen my ex-wife. If you guys want to see a video of us using this up at Whistler, they'll know what this is, and I don't know if they'll beat us up or give us high fives. Let us know in the comments down below if you want to see that. But actually for today's video, I went online and purchased a bunch of as seen on TV products for your car. And one of these products plugs into your car and makes coffee in your car. We're going to be testing that along with a bunch of other products. So I hope you guys are excited. Let's just get straight into testing these products. But first, I gotta trick you guys into liking the video. <laughs> you know how it is! One of my other videos, I told you guys, if the video got 50... My mom... Okay, okay, sorry. I, this is off topic, but my mom... Now that I live back at home, my mom bought multi-grain bread with sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. Mom, I want bread that's gonna make me look like I'm pregnant, okay? I don't want... Yeah. But it still tastes amazing, cause it's bread! In one of my recent videos, I told you guys, if the video got to 50,000 likes, I would FaceTime one of you guys on Instagram, and you can decide anything that I put up on my wall. Unfortunately, that video did not get to 50,000 likes, but I'm gonna give you guys that challenge again on this video. If this video gets to 50,000 likes, I will FaceTime one of you guys on my Instagram, so be sure to head over there and be ready to get FaceTimed. And you can decide anything for me to put on my wall, and I mean anything, guys. I took a selfie with a stream! and it's been on my wall for two months. I'm gonna be unboxing the products here and then we're gonna be cutting over to Car Derek who is in- Whoa, why? No, stop! What the hell is going- No! The first product we have right here is something I have always wanted. This is a 150 watt power converter for your car plug. So basically you can plug this into your car and it will give you the capability to plug in any plug that is a normal plug, not the other plug. You know, not like your plug that you call, you're like, yo, I need some, need some of that Mary Jane. <laughs> if you know what I mean, man. <laughs> don't do drugs, kids. I know it's legal now in Canada, but just don't do drugs. So let's see what this looks like. This is from the brand called Bapdas. And as I said before, you know a brand is great when you've never heard of them. Take a look here together. We're going to open this up. Oh, okay. So it actually looks kind of sleek and nice. I feel like that's kind of important with car accessories is you want them to look good because they're going to be sitting in your car. I just... Like, there are th so many red th There's the red chair, the red thing, and then the red big waste of f***ing $300 back there. So you get the plug there, and you also get two USBs, so you don't have to worry about not having a car charger for your phone. Let's head over to Car Derek, see if this works, and hopefully he will have some clothes on. <laughs> So we have to plug this in, and the first thing we're going to test is just a normal phone charger. So this is what every single one of our things today is going to plug into. Ignore the, um, whatever, is that a carrot or a Cheeto? Uh, probably a Cheeto. I don't need a carrot, so the fuck, what the f*** am I talking about? Take our little guy right here, we insert it into that hole just like that. So now that little green light there is turned on. So we are going to take our phone charging cable. Oh, it just made a really weird, what the hell was that? D does it just... Constantly make that noise. We have the cable plugged in now moment of truth. Does it actually work? Okay, it works But it is making a loud ass freaking noise. So when my phone is down, it doesn't make any noise But the second I pick my phone up Okay, that can't be good <laughs> That's gonna explode any second! I actually really like this product because there are so many times where I've wanted to do things in my car or while I was driving that I wasn't able to do without this power socket. Like, for example, I want to render a video on a road trip. The AC is down and I need to cool off or I have to dry my hair on the way to a date! 
to hang out with Jazz Paul. What am I kidding? A date. And just a little update on the product here. I uh, plugged the hair dryer in and this thing instantly broke. It no longer works. What I had to do to film that little section there is I had to run an extension cord from inside my house into my car. So, uh... <laughs> For our next little section of this video, we actually have two products that are kind of related to each other. The first one is something I have seen so many times on YouTube. This is the steering wheel desk, aka I have no friends, I like to eat in my car, and I want to do it clean. I need this in my life because that is literally my life. So if we take this out, this literally just comes with just this. There's nothing else in the box. This is a little attachment for your steering wheel so that you can do a bunch of different things. You can use it for eating food in case you're a sad f like me who loves eating. Food tastes better when you're eating it in your car. If you go through the McDonald's drive-thru, yeah, you can wait till you get home, eat a couple fries along the way, and then have like a little bit of a cold mess when you get back or you can just park in the parking lot and be a slob loser loner and watch some YouTube videos on your phone while you're eating in your car and everybody walking by is judging you. I'll take option number two any day, baby. Yeah! So you can use this for food or you can use it as like a little desk. They have a little thing for a pen here as well in case in, um, in case you're broke as f and you don't have an office and you want to start your own business. I don't know why you would use this. Maybe you want to like edit a video in your car while you're driving. Cannot think of a logical reason for you to use this. Uh, does it, maybe this side is a, yeah, that side is just meant for holding a single slice of bread. Now let's see if this one works. All right, you guys, so we're in the car. So we have our first tray right here that we are going to be testing and apparently it's just as easy as you take your little wheel with your tray, you go from the bottom, you click it in, and you have a vi actually, wow, that's actually like pretty secure. A lot more secure than my mental state right now. <laughs> I'm going to therapy next week. Um. So one of the things they say you can do is you can do some work on here. So I'm gonna take out my laptop. Let's just say it's a day where, you know, my mom and dad have just been yelling at each other all day. They emotionally abuse each other and it kind of correlates to me and it ruined the way I was growing up and now I'm the way I am because of that. What were we talking about? Uh, oh, the tray, the tray, so yeah. So I put my laptop down, I can lift it up just like that. And if like I was just trying to kill time on my break at work and I really wanted to just like lay down, watch a movie and I didn't have anywhere to put my computer, if I could find the freaking recliner on the seat, there we go. I could always just find one of my favorite movies or videos and watch it in my car. The first thing we have is our coffee. This is the most important thing that we have and they do have a little cup holder right here that fits the perfect size for a venti Starbucks iced coffee. Now, which food do you guys eat in the car most? You know when you're driving home and you have a nice piping hot, you know, the pizza pan, you know? Not talking about pizza, and I don't know why I keep doing that. You eat fries. The one thing you eat in the car all the time is a nice large fries from McDonald's because you cannot resist until you get home. So what I did right here is I ordered a large fries from McDonald's. Oh my gosh, they filled it to the top too. That's perfect. And we also have a sweet and sour sauce. Put our sauce right there. So if we were just sitting in our car, this is actually perfect. We can take a fry, dip it in the sauce, and then we would have the perfect way of eating our fries. Now. I'm gonna do something stupid. <laughs> wow, these are f***ing good. Um, hold on, I wanna eat for a bit <laughs> before I spill them everywhere. <laughs> Let's say you have to get home right away because you also bought some food for your sibling, but you still wanna eat your fries in a comfortable manner. What I'm gonna do now is uh, let's try and drive home with our little thing attached. Okay. I'm gonna move this before we start moving because I care too much about coffee, you guys know that. Our slipping's waiting, we have to get home, I have to make a slight turn to get back on- Oh! Oh jeez, no, 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 don't! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, now let's even it out, let's even the fries out, come on, go the other side, okay, there. Oh gosh, I have to turn, I have to turn! We're good, we are driving, um, oh sh- Nikes, I have to take a right-hand turn. Oh, freaking chicken, okay! Um, I'm gonna do this fast and maybe I can catch them, ready? Three, two, one, oh no! Oh my god, these fries were freaking fresh. Oh my gosh, my penis is on fire. You guys can see, I surprisingly caught a large number of the fries, but they're all over my pants, all over the seat. There is a huge mess, but I still think some of them are still able to be Um. So, this tray works really, really well if you are not 
moving. Otherwise, you got McDonald's newest way of holding fries. It's called the McD. And I'm loving it. <laughs> so just in case the one that has amazing Amazon reviews and that a bunch of YouTubers always use for their videos doesn't work, I went and found the worst rated one on Amazon and we're gonna see if that one works. I mean, a brand that you don't know is really good, but when they have literally zero branding on the box, oh, that's gonna be a one star. A, a f one star probably. This is the same thing, it's kind of like the other product, but this one is a tray that goes into your cup holder. Ooh, okay. Oh, we got a circular tray this time, and oh, okay, some assembly required. There's a bit of assembly that didn't say that, and if you guys know me, I am not a man at all. I'm a man-child who can't put together anything besides Legos with instructions, so this should be fun. What follows is a brief construction montage. Meanwhile... Soon after. Thank you. Whew, that was hard, but at the end of the day, guys, if you commit, you can do it simply by calling your stepdad, who's a real man. So this is the alternative plate for your car. This goes inside your cup holder like that, and then you get this little disc. They say you can basically put anything you want on here from drinks to like a camera or anything. So we're gonna see how this compares to the other one that we were using before. To everyone out there who says aliens don't exist, pff, that's wrong, you know why? It's a flying saucer. I'm gonna just take this and just <laughs> You just spilt your fries everywhere and you don't want disgusting floor fries so let's say you go and buy some more and you want something else to eat it on because this is a total realistic scenario in life. So we have our cup holder right here. We're gonna put this into the cup holder and adjust it accordingly and it will give us a little tray right here that is the most <laughs> Okay, well maybe if I adjust it like that, maybe rest it against the seat kind of, oh my, oh, and it's, oh, okay, uh, it, I think it just broke. Okay, maybe if we tighten it and get it right between the seat, this isn't working. <laughs> because the pro, okay, I know only like a quarter of my face is on the screen, but the problem with this is that the cup holder attachment is too small. <laughs> and, okay, fucking sh on my face. Yes. Okay, there's the tray. Okay, so what's up guys? Today you're gonna see Hans Derek. Um, we have our coffee. Let's put the coffee here. Uh, this is leaning harder than my YouTube career is right now. Okay, okay. It's holding the coffee. If I move literally a centimeter, the coffee is gonna fall. Let's say we grabbed another large fries because uh, we're diabetes. Stand the other large fries up. Okay, so good, so Okay, so far so good. I mean, this looks really cool. I feel like this looks a lot better than the other one. We have our fries here, which we can take, we can dip, and we can eat. If you had like a, I need to switch the angle, this is terrible. So if you wanted to have like a romantic in the car eating session where you could only fit about two items of food onto here, you could do that with another person. Um, so let's take a sip of our coffee. Oh! Okay. Let's not just drink the coffee. How about we just leave the coffee right there? If anything, I would just use this to hold like eight different sauces when I'm eating my fries in my car. We could have sweet and sour, honey mustard, barbecue, ketchup, like a mixture of mayo and ketchup. You guys like mixing mayo and ketchup? I love mixing mayo and ketchup. Comment down below with your favorite sauce. What is your favorite sauce to dip your fries in? And don't you dare comment saying you don't dip your fries in anything, because if you do that, you're the devil. All right, now it's time for the driving test. Because this one isn't attached to the wheel, we're gonna have it set up straight to see if it actually has any stabilization and if there's any chance of this actually working. Keep your eyes on the fries. That's what I always say, guys. We're gonna turn. Let's try to take a bite of a... Boom, we got one fry. That's one fry. Oh, jeez, okay. I'm about to crash into 50 children. Okay, okay, fries are on me. Gonna set it and I'm gonna go. Ready? Set it and go. Okay, we're driving. Oh, jeez. We're coming up on a turn right here. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. We are taking the turn. The turn test. Here it goes. Taking a turn. Oh, and it didn't fall. Now we are going to switch lanes. Let's do a switching lane, lane switch, switch lanes. Fries are still there, baby. And this is the left hand turn test. Come on, fries. Do me well, baby. Don't fall. Oh my god. All right, successful. We only lost about four or five. They're all gone. 
What the? We didn't lose too many fries. I think this tray is a lot better for while you're moving, but the other tray is a lot more sturdy and a lot more practical. Now, being that those trays probably didn't work as good as I think they would. Oh, no! The next product I saw was this vacuum cleaner that plugs into your car. I feel like this is super handy because all the other times you want to vacuum out your car, you need to either have one that is like battery powered or you got to get that long ass extension cord from the back of your, no, I am not pointing at the $300 waste of money back there. The like long ass extension cord that you have back in the shed, you got to untangle it. You got to drag it all the way out to your car, plug in your thing, do the thing with the thing. Things. Oh, it even comes, okay, it comes with a nice little case as well from the company, uh, Wiztus. <laughs> it's a small little vacuum cleaner we have here, but you know, size doesn't always matter. Unless you're talking about the size of your dick. Got a little extension here. <laughs> Too bad I can't have one of these for my, you know, my, my dick. We have another one. Oh god, this thing is just full of surprises. So you have that classic little brush head just to get all the salt out of your seat after you're chomping down fries, dipping them in sweet and sour sauce in the front of your car. You also have the extender to get in those little nooks and crannies, or in case you know you uh, forgot to wipe your butt. And you got some dingleberries up your butthole, you gotta suck those out with- They actually give you a lot of space to collect dust, it's surprising how SMALL IT IS! What the hell is that? I'm not even making this joke, my butthole has more space than this Let's take this out to the car and see if it is worth the money to have this instead of a real vacuum cleaner. So being that there are fries in my ass crack, um, we are going to break out the car- I almost said lawnmower as if so if you guys can see there is salt all over my seat fries all over the ground a bunch of nooks and crannies in here that I'm going to clean with this vacuum hey so Derek's in a new car I plugged the vacuum in and I thought oh it doesn't work but it turns out that when I used this product and I thought the product stopped working that wasn't the case it actually fried the plug in my car and I can no longer plug anything into my car so uh, definitely gonna give this product a 10 out of 10, guys. Must buy, will destroy. The first time ever my stepdad gave me the keys to his truck and he said, don't move that truck or I will be disowned. It's kind of weird because he's my stepdad, can't really disown, but it's fine. So we're gonna be testing the vacuum in this car. And now I just have a bunch of fries on my floor and salt everywhere that I was meant to clean up with the vacuum. Now I gotta use the real vacuum, gotta grab the extension cord again. My life! All right, so we got it plugged in. Now let's see what this thing can do. Pleasantly surprised with this little tool here. It didn't work amazingly well as a vacuum would, but I don't expect this to be as good as a vacuum. Honestly, if you want a little thing to just throw in your glove box that you can take out if you spill something or it's anything like that, you have a little dog, maybe this is actually really good. Just make sure you don't try and plug in with this, because you'll destroy your entire car. 10 out of 10, would buy, it destroys, blows up your car. All right, I uh, don't really know why I bought this one. <laughs> this is, um, this is called Light Up Your Car. Just in case you want to be one of those huge douchebags, and clearly, I do. These are LED lights for your car. Now, when I first saw this, I thought it may be somewhat illegal, considering any time I would turn on the little light inside, already installed in the car, my mom would act like the CIA was gonna come and murder us if it was on for more than 10 seconds. Okay, I already have the dorkiest car on the market, Nissan Micra, cheapest car possible if you guys want to get one. You'll get made fun of for the rest of your life. We're gonna plug these in when it's a little bit later at night, so let's go see if this actually works. Time travel, Derek! Let's go! My stepdad is gonna freaking kill me when he sees this. I am super excited for this. Last but certainly not least is the car coffee machine that makes you coffee inside your car. I think this was $75 to buy and it is holy crap. Am I a freaking doctor? Or am I trying to make coffee? This is the car espresso machine. Oh my god, it comes with cuffs. There are little... <laughs> This is so cool. So it comes here with little espresso cups for your car. It comes with a jar 
for you to store your tears after you're so happy because you can have coffee whenever you want. I, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not addicted to coffee, by the way. I didn't even have a coffee yet today, which is probably why I'm so fucking crazy right now. Okay, so this is the actual coffee maker. This isn't exactly a travel size thing. Don't want to have this in my... If I have this in my cup holder, people are going to think that I'm going to blow up the car. This looks like a freaking bomb. I'm going to figure out how this works. We're going to take it out to the car and see if we can make ourselves some coffee while we are driving. Let's just say it's the end of our day. Our Starbucks has run out and our only... We're locked in the car. We're locked in the car. We cannot go and get more Starbucks. Good thing we have our coffee maker. First step is we have to open this guy up. And there are a lot of different parts in here. Take this out. And now we have to fill this with water. So good thing we're locked in our car and we have a bottle of water lying around. It's not like I went inside and got it. Good thing we have our coffee maker. I need to get water. F okay, be right back. Fill it up to the line. And now we had this lying on our car as well. They give us a little scooper and we take one scoop of our coffee and we put that in this little top section here. Oh god, that's f uh, that's a bit more fuller than my liking, but hopefully that's what they wanted. We have the coffee loaded on top of the water. Now we take our lid, we put that back on. Okay. Hopefully this f***ing works. Now we take our plug, we put that into there, and then we push this button, and we wait for five minutes. Hopefully within that five minutes, <laughs> this thing doesn't explode, because I don't want to wreck two cars in one day. Five minutes later. What the fuck? What do you mean beep beep? No, no, that's, that's not it. That is not, that's not it. Hold on. What the fuck is that? Is this meant for a fucking mouse? What is, what kind of, what, how much coffee is that? So it is definitely finished. The light has turned off. We're gonna pop that open. We're gonna take the little cup they gave me. We're gonna pour. And um, there we uh, there we have it. This was seventy fucking dollars. So I took the top thing off, and there's some hot coffee on the inside. It was supposed to come out the top, but it didn't. Okay, that is what I like to see. Definitely not what I imagine a cup of coffee to be like in the morning. But that is coffee. I think the machine might have gotten clogged, and I think that's what happened. But let's give it a sniff. <laughs> Smells. Oh my! That smells like a burnt down Toys R Us. That is not what coffee should. Because this is really hot, we're gonna put it in some ice and make some iced coffee here. There we go. All right, let's try this. Here we go. Okay, okay. The freaking taste is not half as bad as the smell. It actually does taste just like normal coffee, which is actually really cool. But I mean, at the end of the day, I had to sit here for 15 minutes for a cup of coffee this big, spend $70 on the product, buy a bag of coffee, when I could have just gone to Tim Hortons or Starbucks and gotten a coffee for $3 that they literally make in 15 seconds. So, it's cool. It's definitely cool. That is going to do it for all the products we tested in today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed me testing all of these as seen on TV and the internet car products. If you are new, be sure to subscribe and join the D squad and leave it in the comment section down below if I should review anything else that you guys want to see me test. Always remember the motto of do good, die great, and I will see you all very, very soon. All right, see ya. Bye! And because the plug in my car no longer works, I had to set it up in my stepdad's truck, and I'm not too sure how he's gonna like this. <laughs>